been a full about three weeks, I think, three or two weeks of driving this car with the 488, and I love it. The gearing is great. The, the car doesn't bog. It's not too tall. It's not too short. It's, it's wonderful. The one thing I hate about the car right now is I got to fix my front door handle too and the spring is a little loose but one thing I hate about this car is I'm in gear right now and there's like a lot of play no gear I mean obviously not but like I pull up you hear that that irritates the crap out of me and it's it's you know it's a stock it's a stock T56 shifter it's loose um, the ball obviously isn't a ball for it's ball for a T5 and it still has a plastic bushing in it from GM so it's obviously super like not so loose or super loose so we purchased a nice little nifty this bag's probably an ear rate let me get that out real quick tip performance Ooh, it's stiffer see see Mishimoto it came with a sticker. How come I didn't get a penguin sticker? What the hell? Bronze or brass bushing? Brass, I think. Allen wrench styled hardware. A sticker. Mishimoto. I'll put you right there. Put you in my collection here soon. An empty box that I can use for something in the future. And I'm gonna. Ugh. Oh, that just like a Oh, there's a piece. Ah, oh, it's got it. I'm gonna mute it. Wait, no, I'm gonna go soft. You'll have to suffer with it. Oh, it's light. Wow. And the short throw by Tech Performance. A very, very strong spring in the middle. Holy cow. I mean, oh, yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna be fun. I can't wait. I can't wait. So, I'm gonna put you down. And a tick performance shift knob. It's kind of probably like a hundred grand. I know, I covered y'all up. I covered y'all up. Yeah, it's about a hundred grand. Ooh, it feels good though. And we have our normal shift pattern. I think it's a hundred grams. So not bad. Not bad at all. Put you there. So, I'm going to get the old one out real quick, and depending on your application of T56, you'll have to remove your center console. <laughs> so, my center console's been removed, but I have this big old sheet metal on here right now that I'm already going to have to cut anyways, so I'm going to cut it out to where I can pull this off and in, because eventually I'm going to get a, the like a universal boot that you mount on like kind of like the Miata is that metal boot to put over this for when I install and uninstall the transmission so I'm gonna take some dikes to it real quick and cut it open because that piece should be in who knows when hopefully soon it's from eBay so there's no telling how long it's gonna take but until then it's not cold yet either so it's not really a big deal but until then I'm just gonna have to suffer with it I'm gonna drive it either way, but I can't wait. So let's get like a before and after. I don't know if I can really do that. I'm not doing some stupid, there's plenty of YouTube videos on Shifter where they're like, oh, ruler here, ruler there. But I mean, right above it, right up top. We got first, oh, let's just do third, third, and then fourth. And this, is a, this isn't this is even a, a stock GM Shifter, that's a Pro 5.0 short Shifter for my T5. Um, no, it's not. The top part is. Never mind. It's not. I lied. False advertisement. But I'm going to cut it here. I'm going to make a hole real quick. And we're going to put a short shifter in. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha Alright, I got it cut up somewhat what I need to do. I got, I'll have to hammer on these little bulges here. These little sharp points downward when I get the shifter out. The only reason why I have this panel on my car is because I had the stock shifter was here and then the T5 shifter was here and then the T56 is now here. But 
most of you people with actual T56 cars, I don't think you have to worry about cutting your floor like I do. But I'm not gonna take all the rivets out and re-rivet that. So pull off the old shifter and the the well worn oh the well worn uh what you call it ball. I'm gonna put it right here for now. Ah, and got to get all the silicone I just made. So you got to clean up your silicone. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, so close. Clean it all up real quick, and because the shifter, well, you got to even if you, even if the shifter didn't have it, you still want to clean it off. But the shifter, or this shifter. Hello, person flying down my road with a trailer. Uh, comes with a gasket already. Apparently, you can order new gaskets from them. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty dope. I need a brass, and I gotta find out what bolts are. Right? We haven't got to that yet. But we gotta put our new, our new coupler in. Oh, and that's about it. So I'm gonna clean this all off real quick and do a little cut through. Actually, there's really not much to cut. Yeah, I'm gonna cut through. We'll cut through real quick and hammer the my sharp points down real quick as well. And then we'll go from there. Alrighty. Now that I got it cleaned off and hammered somewhat good, this is all gonna get cut out soon. I uh, know, not soon. Uh, this is just for winter, really. Uh, when we do the interior, I gotta cut the passenger floor panel out. My father-in-law is gonna make me another one. And we probably have to cut this one too because there's a tiny hole down there by my foot, big ass toe. But for now, it's fine. So this is not what we're worried about. But the shifter goes in good where it needs to. Um, now we gotta change out the plastic bushing, which is the one thing I didn't grab. Was uh, probably be better off with some sort of. Uh, these would probably work. Mine's in there pretty good. Sometimes you can get them out with just your finger, but. Go in here and grab it. Oh well. Oh well. Might have to go get a. Uh, I don't have a hook. I thought I had a hook. Uh, actually, I do have a hook. Do I have a hook? I do. No, it ain't gonna work. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I need some sort of way to grab it. Or get under it. One of the two. One of the two. One thing I need is oh, there we go. I think so. I mean, oh yeah. It loose. I'm gonna pop that mofo out. I mean, it has seen better days. It's old, worn out. You can tell it's worn out. It's flexing like no other. It even feels like just bad plastic go put that there <clears throat> go back into here that's a nice beautiful day we got today too I'm kind of ready for work tonight as long as it's not freezing here's our new brass bushing in a nice little nifty little bag boom on boom on boom on and we'll just plop her in there What's this? Oh, never mind. It's just fuzz. So, the wall's already lubed up pretty good. So, I'm going to just plug it in. Oh, She's kind of stiff. Put in. Hold it. I don't know. I don't want to. Alright, that fits perfect. But why are you going not in perfect here? What is your problem? What is your problem? Or is it that just still? Is it, oh yeah, there it goes. Okay, maybe I do have to just tap it in. Let's find out. Yeah, that's good. Huh. Interesting. I need a better way of hammering it down than up there. Oh. I'm gonna find me. <laughs> Put y'all down real quick. I don't have a way to prop you, so if you like.
Interesting. I got her in neutral. That was really a, a stuff fit, so I'm gonna make sure that our ball here all will put in here. Put up here. Wait. Oh wait a gosh darn second. Not on it. Be easier if I didn't have this little lip over here, but I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna. Okay, now we're on. We're on. We did it, boys. I don't like the red. Just saying. Be a little cooler. Could be, uh, you know, not red. That would be cool. Um, I'm gonna do a tranny flush. Probably next video, next week, I don't know. Uh, Cody is back, so we're going to have to do the reaction video. She's going to have to drive it. I want to see his experience. Heather's going to drive it. Because they're the two people that have driven the car, besides me, that actually know on a like almost a day-to-day -day basis on how it performed before. So I want them to have a nice little reaction on it. But it's a 6 millimeter for these bad boys. It'll 6 it. Eel six. I wouldn't use an impact if I were you. I'm trying to do this with one hand. I wouldn't use an impact, but you do chairs. That's another thing I need to do. I'm just gonna do hold you guys. But you want to use impact, be a guess. It's aluminum, so don't don't do that. That's my that's my ten cents. But we'll put this in here. Got them all threaded in. Put it on tighten. And we tighten away. So I'm just going to have to get away. I'm 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 going to have so now that one snug double check them all snug snug and if this gasket leaks I, I don't it may not be them that do it it could be mine being gouged or something but mine came up pretty clean Worst case, you pull it off and put silicone on it. Not a big deal. So, it's in. Oh my god, that return spring is heavy. But there's also no leverage yet, so. And for the looks of it, you can put it this way. You can put it. Oh no, you can't put it that way. Wait, you can't put it this way. Ha <laughs> ha Alrighty. Let's see how she does. <laughs>
concludes uh, the installation. Uh, really wasn't hard. I mean, it's just a shifter. Uh, this old one, though, it's seen it's seen better days. I mean, you can look at that. Like, I probably could have rebuilt it, but look at that. Like, it's just loose. You can tell. I mean, and. and Apparently that's an, another common thing with the T56, like a stock one, is the return spring is really hard. It's not hard, it's soft. So if you're trying to smack it into third, it doesn't really, it doesn't kind of like help you go in. You get stuck in that between the synchros. You get stuck between first and second, or first and third. And, it, and I've missed third a lot in this car, which is upsetting. But now, I don't know, we'll drive it for a week and see how it goes. We'll also have the other people Heather and Cody, he'll, they'll drive it, see if it can tell a difference, but it feels a lot more stiffer and stable than the stock one. Um, it's it's not a hardcore 55% throw redu reduction. It's like, it's probably 30% like the reduction compared to this one. And uh, I'm, I'm in love with it. It's perfect for a daily driver. I mean, if you wanted like a track ready shift for maybe MGW or a Hawk Sports, but uh, for that, I'm, I'm pretty sad on that one, honestly. That one is very, uh, very, it's where I need it to be, basically, for I guess. If you guys like what you saw, I have any questions about the shifter. It looks really cool, actually. I mean, like, it looks, of course, it's gonna have a boot on it eventually, but I mean, it's got a nice little, nice little thumbnail click for it, but in my car, it looks ugly because everything's gutted out, but, I don't care. Let's get it out for a reason. To find all the spots that need to be replaced. And I found them. <laughs> That'll be a fun video. But I'll catch you on the next one. I'm going to get ready for work. Edit this video for you guys. It'll probably come up Thursday night. I'm going to make it I'm make it Thursday night. And uh, probably next Thursday there will be another video. Um, I'll be busy this weekend. I really want to get, get it done. And we have some more stuff on the diff I want to do. Like, I'm, we're going to make a bracket for the shocks just to kind of move them away some. I got ourselves some nice quarter inch thick, which is overkill, but I don't care. And uh, just some small things, really. Probably re-bleed the brakes on the whole system. And, yeah, I got a phone call, so I'll catch y'all later. Bye! I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak